I'm going to go ahead and show that 1 is equal to 2. Let's have a look at the proof. Suppose a is equal to b. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by a to give me a squared is equal to ab. Okay, the next step is to subtract b squared from both sides, giving me a squared minus b squared is equal to ab minus b squared. I can factorise the left hand side using the difference of two squares to give me a minus b in brackets, a plus b in brackets is equal to, I've got a common factor of b on the right hand side, I can take out the b and in brackets I can write a minus b. Right, I can simplify this equation by dividing both sides by a minus b. So the a minus b's on the left hand side cancel out to give me a plus b is equal to the a minus b's on the right hand side cancel out to give me b. Well, I've assumed that a is equal to b, therefore I can write b plus b is equal to b. But b plus b, ladies and gents, is 2b. So 2b is equal to b. Now I can divide both sides by b to give me 2 is equal to 1. And that there is the end of my proof. <laughs> right, <laughs> you must be thinking, how is 2 equal to 1? Or you could say 1 is equal to 2. Well, I made a mistake in my proof. Pause the video, have a look at my proof and see if you can identify the mistake. Okay, ladies and gents, the mistake is over here. You can't divide by a minus b because we have assumed that a is equal to b. Hence, a minus b is just 0 and you can never divide by 0.